Hello, welcome back. So, as I told you earlier, I'm going to show you how to build uh, a different way, uh, to build a form a different way. So, uh, this is called the data-driven approach. The one we used earlier was the template-driven approach. And to do this is pretty simple. So, the first thing we're going to do is in our uh, forecast uh, component.ts, is we're going to create a forecast form property and this is going to be a type of form group. Now we need to import this form group from at Angular forms. All right. Uh, and so now we are ng on init. We're going to have this forecast form is going to be equal to a new form group. And form group is going to take an object. And uh, this object will be equal as many fields as we have in our view. So if we had three fields, we'd have three objects over here. But we only have one, so I want to call this property for gas um, city. And uh, this is going to be equal a new form control because we need to give Angular 2 a way to control uh, from here to our HTML. And in here, uh, form control uh, takes up to three uh, properties. Uh, one is going to be our uh, string. Let's put something like Seattle, the city we're going to use. And you can, we can have the second string can be a validator. And the validator can be something that checks that we can only input uh, strings over here or characters. If you put a number, then uh, this would be uh, the submit button will be blocked, and you will you wouldn't be able to submit your form. But that's something I can cover in a different uh, series when I do uh, something with uh, more forms, if you want. Uh, so we're just going to leave one property. And as you can see, uh, I'm being yelled at that I don't have form control. So what I need to do is import this form control as well. OK, so we're pretty much uh, good here. But there's something that you have to import in our app module when we work with, uh, uh, with the template-driven approach. So uh, by default, when you create your uh, Angular uh, project with the CLI, it comes with these four uh, libraries or imports, and one of them is form, Forms module uh, that works with the uh, uh, template-driven approach. But we need now our uh, something that works with our data driven approach and it's called the reactive forms module and we need to add this to our imports over here now we have our imports uh, our TS is pretty much uh, fine reactive forms module sorry forms yeah I'm glad I, I caught that. So now we're going to go to our HTML, and here in our form, we're going to call our form group. And here uh, we called this forecast form. And in our input, uh, we're going to have a form control name. Here we're going to pass the property that we have in this object, that is a forecast city. 
So let's pass this over here. Uh, save this. And let's look at our HTML. Perfect. As you can see, I have Seattle. So it's binding uh, what I have over here. But we don't want Seattle to be a default uh, city that we want to look at. So we're going to delete this and we're going to create, uh, we're going to use the ng submit directive again. And we can call this again on submit, or you can call this whatever you want. But now uh, we don't have to pass. Um, we don't. We don't need to pass anything from the HTML to the TypeScript. Uh, like uh, uh, you remember that we had a, a variable using the template approach, like form, and this was equal to ng form. We don't need to do this anymore. Uh, now the only thing we need to do is we're going to create that on submit function. And here we're going to console log our this forecast form. Okay, so let's open our console and let's put a city, let's put a Cairo. Oh no. What happened? Oh, I didn't see this. I didn't see my HTML. <sighs> Things that happen. Okay, so uh, let's put San Diego. Perfect. And if you remember, I don't know if you remember. But when we uh, console logged uh, uh, our template approach, this had the name of ng form, and it was an object as well. But this has the same properties as ng form, so they're uh, pretty similar. So it's a different way to build uh, your forms. So uh, you can build the one that you think is the best. Uh, so as you can see. I have, I'm gonna go again, go down to value. I'm gonna go to, uh, that is an object. I'm gonna go to my forecast city and I have San Diego over here. Cool, so this is how you build a form using data-driven approach. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make the call for the, uh, for the five-day weather forecast. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment, uh, subscribe if you, uh, if you like what you've seen so far. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.